What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to migrate your old iPhoto library over to the new Photos app in OS 10.10.3, um, which was just released yesterday. So if you update it to OS 10.10.3, you should have this new Photos app here alongside your iPhoto library if you happen to have iPhoto on your Mac. Uh, so if you use iPhoto, you're probably concerned about getting all of your pictures and everything over to the new Photos app. Now before you even do any of that, now would be a great time to go in and sort of curate your, your library. Uh, so you can go in, delete any duplicate uh, photos that you have, update any metadata that you have, uh, just sort of, you know, prune your library so that you can start on the best foot that you possibly can when you migrate over. So once you've done all that, you can close out of the iPhoto app. Now just keep in mind that this will be probably the last time that you use the iPhoto app because number one, Apple has completely removed it from the Mac App Store so you can't even download it anymore. Uh, and then number two, obviously you're migrating over so you wouldn't want to try to do anything to migrate back. There's no reason to. The Photos app is much superior to iPhoto anyway. All right, so I'm going to close out of the iPhoto application here and let's go ahead and open up a Finder window. Now once you open up Finder, you want to go to your pictures uh, folder there under your favorites. If you don't see it there, you can always go to your user folder, which mine is Jeff, and then just double click on pictures and there you'll see you should see at least two libraries. You should see the Photos library, which is for the new Photos app, and then you should see the iPhoto library, which is for the outgoing iPhoto app. Now, the thing that I like to do in this situation is I like to just double click on where it says Photos library, and that will open up this library in the Photos app. And this will make sure that you just don't have anything uh, out there in this library right now that you could run the risk of eliminating or deleting by accident. So by double clicking on the actual library, it'll load that library up in the uh, Photos app. And that way you can go in and check. You can look in albums, projects, photos, make sure there's nothing there. Uh, and that's a good thing because we don't want to delete anything that may have been migrated over already to the Photos app. So you want to close out of the Photos app like this, and then we're just going to delete the photos library like this. All right, so we've deleted the photos library. Now we can reopen the photos app. All right, and then you can select open other and then just choose iPhoto library like this. Choose library and this will import all of your data from iPhoto into the new photos app. You can see it's 89% complete. Obviously yours will probably take longer because I don't have that many photos. You can see all the photos are there that we had in iPhoto. And the nice thing about doing it this way, deleting that first uh, library is that you don't have to worry about renaming any libraries or having two libraries for the Photos app, things like that. So that's the reason we did that. And they're, they're named properly Photos Library, not Photos Library 2 or anything weird like that. So just, that was the reason for that. So you can see how easy that was though. Everything's imported, all your photos are there. Now, if you try to open up the iPhoto library, it's gonna say, your photo library has been migrated to photos. You can open it in iPhoto, but any changes such as editing or adding new photos will not appear in the photos app. So just keep that in mind. If for some reason you wanted to open iPhoto and look at, look at that, you can look at it to compare just to make sure everything's important, but any changes that you make actually won't appear there. Um, so going forward, you will be using the new photos library and the new photos app instead of the old iPhoto library. So once you're comfortable, you can just delete the iPhoto library like this and just solely rely on the new photos library. So we're just going to close it out, reopen it like this, and you can see everything is there. So that is how you migrate over from the old iPhoto to the new Photos app. And now you can actually uninstall iPhoto if you choose to do so. Folks, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.